Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. It's me, Teacher Elina for English Year 6. Okay, so today we are going to continue our lesson on Unit 8, How the Tiger Got Its Stripes. But today I will be focusing on the topic of conjunctions. Hari ini, Teacher akan fokus tajuk kita pada Uh, grammar part iaitu conjunction ataupun dalam bahasa Melayu kata hubung. You can refer to your textbook page 80 and 81. Let's get started. These are some of the examples of conjunctions that we are going to learn today. Contoh conjunction yang teacher berikan di sini adalah antara tajuk uh, antara topik yang kita akan pelajari pada hari ini. Ada beberapa conjunction yang awak perlu tahu. Tetapi yang paling mudah dan yang paling selalu kita jumpa adalah conjunction-conjunction yang teacher akan tunjukkan selepas ini. Okey, kita mulakan dengan conjunction yang pertama, for. For bermaksud disebabkan. Contoh ayatnya adalah, we love to listen to Anna for she sings sweetly. Okey. Maksudnya, kami suka mendengar Anna menyanyi disebabkan suaranya yang sedap. Next conjunction would be and. And bermaksud dan. Okey, teacher rasa kamu selalu jumpa kan? And kamu selalu guna and ni dalam ayat-ayat kamu. So, it is not something new lah to you. Bukan sesuatu yang baru lah untuk kamu. So, kami ni is a graceful Graceful dancer, tertinggal R di sini, maafkan ya. Kami ni is a graceful dancer and people enjoy watching her. Kami ni adalah seorang penari yang lemah lembut dan orang suka menonton dia menari. Next one, but. But bermaksud tetapi. She is a great swimmer but she prefers to play golf. Dia adalah seorang perenang yang hebat tetapi... Dia lebih suka bermain golf. Moving on. Or. Or bermaksud atau. He can buy the book or borrow it from the library. Dia boleh membeli buku itu atau meminjamnya dari perpustakaan. Yet. Yet bermaksud tetapi. Atau tetapi pada masa yang sama. Jom kita tengok macam mana cara kita nak menggunakan yet di dalam ayat. They did not succeed, yet they did not give up. Mereka tidak berjaya, tetapi mereka tidak berputus asa. Ataupun, mereka tidak berjaya, tetapi pada masa yang sama, mereka tidak berputus asa. And last but not least, we have so. So bermaksud atau, Asin felt cold, so he put on his jacket. Asin merasa sejuk, jadi dia memakai jaketnya. Okay. These are some of the common errors. Selalu uh, uh, kesalahan yang selalu kita akan buat. Okay. But it is not necessary when we use certain conjunctions such as even though. Maksudnya, kamu tidak perlu menggunakan but ini dengan conjunction yang lain. Conjunction yang kita selalu guna dengan but ni adalah even though. It is not necessary. Tak semestinya ataupun dan tidak perlu digabungkan. Okay, contohnya. Okay, yang salah ya. Even though it was raining but we still went out. Okay, yang betulnya adalah it was raining but we still went out. Uh, cuaca sedang hujan tetapi kami masih boleh keluar. Okay, common error number two. Okay, after the conjunction for, we do not use to. Okay, selepas conjunction for ni, awak tak boleh guna to. Salah. Okay, kat sini dia tulis dah salah. Contoh ayat yang salah ya. I ask her to wait for to tell her something. No, salah. The correct, uh, the correct sentence would be, I ask her to wait. For I had something to tell her. Disebabkan saya ada sesuatu nak beritahu dia. So, this is how you uh, write down sent uh, correct sentence when you want to use for. 
Okay, moving on. Okay, these are some of the examples uh, of sentences or questions that we are going to do it together. Kita akan buat sama-sama. Uh, ini adalah untuk menguji sama ada awak faham tak uh, enam-enam conjunction yang kita telah pelajari sebelum ini. Okay, so number one. I am a wife, a mother. So the correct answer would be... I am a wife and a mother. Okay. Number two. She wants to go to bed early. For she is tired. Okay. Disebabkan dia rasa le letih. My grandfather is old. He is active in sports. So the correct answer is. My grandfather is old. But. He is uh, yet. He is active in sport. Okay, tetapi pada masa yang sama, dia masih lagi aktif dalam sport. Okay, untuk soalan nombor tiga ni, awak boleh juga untuk gunakan but. Okay. Number four. I can eat pizza right now. I can save it for later. So, what's the correct answer? I can eat pizza right now or I can save it for later. Number five, Kamini needed some new clothing. She went shopping. Kamini memerlukan baju baru. Jadi, dia pergi membeli belah. Jawapannya adalah, so. So, she went shopping. Number six, he never drives to work. He sometimes drives to the mall. Okay, but. He never drives to work, but he sometimes drives to the mall. You can also use yet for this question. Okay, moving on. These are some of another conjunctions. Uh, conjunction ni ada panjang sikit. Macam yang tadi yang kita tengok awal-awal tu, perkataan dia pendek-pendek kan? Okay, untuk ketiga-tiga conjunction ni, dia panjang sikit uh, ejaan dia. Okay, yang pertama, kita tengok since. Yang pertama, since. Disebabkan. Okay, how, when do we use since ni? Bila kita nak guna since ni? We use since when we want to express cause and effect. Bila kita nak menunjukkan punca dan kesan. Contoh ayat. Since you are very kind, I will buy you a gift. Disebabkan awak sangat baik. Jadi, saya nak belikan awak hadiah. Since the boy disturbed his friend, He was punished yesterday. Disebabkan budak lelaki itu kacau kawan dia, dia telah di uh, telah dihukum. Okay. Number two. Although. Although bermaksud walaupun. Okay, walaupun. Alamak, sorry. Although bermaksud walaupun. Eh, tak apalah. Okay, when do we use although? Kita menggunakan although to show contrast. Ha, untuk menunjukkan perbandingan. Contoh ayatnya adalah. Although the man is old, he is very strong. Walaupun lelaki itu tua, dia sangat kuat. Although Lisa is rich, she does not have many friends. Walaupun Lisa ni sangat kaya, dia tidak ada ramai kawan. Okay. Moving on. Last but not least, we have because. Because ni awak pun tahu maksud dia adalah kerana. Bila kita gunakan because ni? When we want to show reason. Bila kita nak menunjukkan sebab. Contoh ayatnya adalah. She is late to school because she missed the bus. Dia lambat ke sekolah kerana dia tertinggal bus. She failed the test because she did not study at all. Dia gagal ujian tersebut kerana dia tidak belajar langsung. Okay, so I hope you are able to understand all these conjunctions. Okay, let us look at some of the questions. Kita tengok soalan ni, kita nak uji sama ada awak faham tak penggunaan since, although dan because. Okay, look at number one. Ahmad was very tired. He did not want to watch the movie. Ahmad sangat penat. 
dia tidak mahu menonton movie itu. So the correct answer would be Although Ahmad was very tired, he did not want to watch the movie. Oh, sorry. I think I got this wrong. It should be since. Okay. The answer is since. I'm sorry. Maafkan teacher ya untuk kesalahan ini. The answer is since. Bukan although. Okay. Asyik baik boleh tulis kat sini. Alright. Okay. Amir is 12 years old. He looks older than his sister. So the correct answer is since Amir is 12 years old, he looks older than his sister. Disebabkan oleh sebab Amir berumur, uh, berusia 12 tahun, jadi dia, le, dia nampak lebih tua daripada adik perempuannya. Ain did not want to buy the wallet. It was too expensive. So, the correct answer is, apa jawapannya adalah, apa jawapannya? Because, I did not want to buy the wallet because it was too expensive. Kerana ia sangat mahal. Key number four, it rained a lot. We still enjoy our holiday. So, the correct answer is, although, although it rained a lot, We still enjoy our holiday. Walaupun hujan sepanjang hari, tetapi kami masih enjoy percutian kami. He did not attend school for a week. He was sick. So the correct answer is, He did not attend school for a week because he was sick. Dia tidak hadir ke sekolah selama seminggu kerana dia Sakit. And last but not least, I had no money. I could not buy anything to eat. So the correct answer would be, since I had no money, I could not buy anything to eat. Disebabkan saya tidak ada duit, saya tak boleh nak beli apa-apa pun untuk makan. Teacher harap kamu boleh faham setakat ini apa yang uh, teacher telah terangkan. Alright, okay, moving on. Okay, ini adalah correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions ni ada dua. Okay, ada dua. It's either or and neither nor. Okay, pasangan dia awak kena ingat lah. Either or neither nor. Awak tak boleh guna either nor, neither or. Salah. Okay, bila kita menggunakan either or ni, either or ni maksudnya macam sama ada. To indicate choices or possibilities. Bermaksud, menunjukkan pilihan dan kebarangkalian. Okay, contoh ayatnya adalah, you can go either left or right. You can have either tea or coffee. Bermaksud, kamu boleh buat pilihan. Kamu nak pergi ke kiri atau ke kanan. Kamu nak kopi ataupun kamu nak teh. Alright. Boleh ya? Eh? Okay, what about neither nor? Okay, neither nor ni, we used to make statement, st uh, to, we used to make negative statement or things that are not true. Okay, bermaksud, kedua-dua ni bukan. Kalau macam yang ni sama ada A ataupun B. Neither nor ni, A pun bukan, B pun bukan. Okay, contoh ayatnya adalah They are neither my schoolmates nor my friends. Mereka tu bukan kawan sekolah saya ataupun kawan saya. Neither neither Izzat nor the boys are sleeping late. Maksudnya Izzat pun tak tidur lewat. Budak-budak lelaki itu pun tak tidur lewat. Tiada siapa yang tidur lewat. Semuanya tidur awal. So, that is what it meant by To make negative statement or things that are not true. Alright. Okay, jom kita, uh, jom kita tengok tas untuk hari ini. Kamu boleh buka English module page 8. And I need you to fill in the blanks with the correct order. With the correct answer. Sorry. Okay, I have given you some uh, answers on the exercise 
1 and 2. So let us take a look of the answers. Underline the correct conjunction in the sentence below. So number 1. Number 1, we have Hamidah and Zarin. So bila kita ada Hamidah and Zarin, kita ada dua orang. We need to use both. So the answer is both. Both ni bermaksud kedua-duanya. Both Hamidah and Zarin are friends of mine. Hamidah pun kawan saya. Zarin ni pun kawan saya. Okay. I was fast asleep. The telephone rang. I was fast asleep when the telephone rang. Saya sedang tidur bila telefon sedang berbunyi. I will ask Sami or Motu to give me a leave home today. Okay. Kalau dia, tak, dia buat neither, memasuk Sami pun tak mau bagi tumpang, Motu pun tak mau bagi tumpang. Tetapi kalau kita guna either, Okay, saya akan tanya. Saya akan tanya uh, Sami ataupun Mutu untuk menumpangkan saya balik ke rumah. So, the correct answer would be either. The children were extremely rude. So, they were punished. Sebab terlampau biadab, jadi mereka pun di, dihukum. We stayed back late. We could not complete our work. So, the correct answer is unless we stayed back late. Sorry, I think the answer is, uh, no, no, although. Sorry, uh, satu lagi kesalahan, I'm sorry. Okay, although we stayed back late, we could not complete our project. Walaupun kami telah uh, balik lewat, mas kami masih tidak dapat siapkan projek kami. Number six, we will have to postpone the football game because if it, uh, sorry, we will have to postpone the football game if it rains heavily today. So the answer is if. Okay. Besides sewing, my grandmother spends her time reading. So lain daripada menjahit. Uh, nenek saya menghabiskan masanya dengan membaca. So, besides, switching to a part-time job in order to supplement her family's income. In order to supplement her family's income. Although Encik Nordin is already 80 years old, he is still very active. And last but not least, Sharon is absent today because she is not feeling well. Okay, moving on to exercise 2. Amira and Anissa are sisters. Besides collecting coins, I also collect stamps. Kevin plays football and his brother prefers hockey. He must work hard so he can do well in his exams. Both Jiva and Jenny work in the same office. Although Kumari was tired, she stayed up late to study. Mr. Wong is rich, but he refuses to donate any money for charity. Ellen had a high fever. But he refused to go to the doctor. Since it was raining heavily, we could not go shopping. And last but not least, I refused to speak to him unless he apologized. So I think that's all for today's session. Ini sahaja untuk hari ini. Uh, sekiranya kamu menonton video ini sehingga habis, kamu akan dapat siapkan Tugasan yang telah diberikan pada hari ini. Itu sahaja. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.